Okay, coffee carts and cocktail bars. Mm -mm -mm. Steve, don't these sound like luxuries you would see flipping through the pages of a lifestyle magazine? They do. Very true, but our interior designer says you can easily make them a reality in your own home. So whether you're on a budget or you're looking to invest, Elizabeth's mom, Susie Reese, joins us now with some pro tips. Hi, Mama. Hi, Susie. Hi. 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 Okay, why are you loving these? This is your new favorite oh, thing in home. I totally am. You know, everything should be a little destination treat in your home. Every corner, every countertop, any extra space just make it special 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 um, so there's a really great way if you have an empty wall in your home ah. that you can really make a destination place for your coffee well, how do you think Starbucks got so famous because yeah. it's a treat, it's a to, treat go there. to go yeah, there that's so true. do that in your own home plus everyone gets so clustered around the kitchen yeah um, so this is a coffee bar that was built in between two well, it was just an empty space between oh, nice. two windows do some beautiful tile behind it. Do some floating open shelves because that keeps it from looking like another kitchen cabinet. Keep everything grouped and of course put some treats in there. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it just makes there, huh? it fun. So on a tray, you can put all of your condiments. Of course, a piece of art is darling. Oh, that's cute. And you want to put a lamp. You want to have plenty of storage underneath. So you've got everything right there. Everyone will congregate over there. You can convert it to a wine bar after dinner. Okay, That's this is a great easy. idea. Like and so then the drawers, you have like extra coffee pods for your little machine. Everything you just pull. You don't need everything that you own out all the time. Just okay. have it ready to get to. I would think if you're building that in, you want to make sure that you think about outlets too for some of that Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. Huh? Good point. Yeah. Yes. Make sure you have plenty of outlets built in right behind the coffee bar. Okay. So that what's works a, um, really well. What's a transitional coffee bar? Well, um, this is a great one that you can do very inexpensively. Like if you live in a loft, if you live in an apartment, uh, on a budget. These are those shelves that you get that you put together from Costco or I have these all over yeah. my basement oh, so for storage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they right. make, look at these little S hooks you can hook sure. on here that you can hang your mugs. Um, you can put a piece of tile, put art. Uh, in the, here's tile right here that you can put your oh, Nespresso yeah, machine. Cool. It's a destination for your wine bar and a coffee bar oh. and storage. And of course, put a piece of art in there. Well, okay, one thing that I'm noticing consistently is the lamp. Now, you love the lamp, well, like tucked, tucked into places, I and do. so that you think is a must have? Well, it is because it brings you in. Light and music are two things that really touch the soul. So bring Aww. in pretty lighting and just tuck it in wherever you want. Um, another, these are some of my favorite things. Even if you don't have a coffee bar and you're using the corner of your kitchen or your island, create it all on a tray. Now I happen to love trays. This is a marble <laughs> slab just ask my dad. with another marble slab on top marble on marble. and a silver tray on top of that. I mean, you just can't have too many. This is so cute. Really cool. Uh, yes. So, so if you have an espresso or a Keurig, Put your pods in a darling little compote like this. <laughs> That's all you need. I mean, it's a presentation. I love this. Um, find an antique silver um, creamer and sugar. And of course, yeah. your little cinnamon you and need in a beautiful. little flea market bowl. So, okay, mom, so we're going from morning to night here. Now we're going to yeah. move on to the cocktail bar. Now, this yes. is another big oh, yeah. thing. And yes. I love your idea that if you don't have room for both, have the coffee bar normally and then and you then can transition it. to a cocktail Absolutely. bar at night. Okay, so if you want to invest a little bit more, you say really invest in a beautiful piece of furniture. Yes, like make this. it a great piece of furniture. So this is a pretty one in a room <gasps> and voila. Oh, very nice. Now we're not going into a bar in a restaurant where there are 85 million choices. <laughs> you have a collection of your wine glasses, you have a collection of your cocktail glasses. You'll have, look at <gasps> such just pretty bottles out there. Beautiful. Even if you don't like what's in them, do the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. Oh my gosh. You know, my wife doesn't drink wine. She loves the look of wine the bottles. bottles. Totally. They're gorgeous. So Absolutely. Not? And of course, another tray. And you might want some chocolates. And oh, of course, a little hello on the top. Oh, I mean, nice my really. goodness. Right How sweet. And make it lit so you open up. It is voila. All right. Now, that so, is beautiful. That's beautiful. But look at this. This, oh, this is a cart that any, you're going to be surprised at where this cart comes okay, from. Okay. They knocked it out of the park. Our little target. Oh. RJ, they it knocked it out of the park on this one. Does Designer pick uh, from Target. Oh my goodness, this fabulous uh, steel that looks like silver, reclaimed wood, but you know what? Guess what the beauty of this one is? Hmm. Off the top of your head, 
three shelves. Ah. Sure. Because if this is all the room you have, look at all the wasted space when you get only two. Yeah. You don't have bottles that go up 24 inches. No, right. so you pick up this bar cart at Target. Yes. And then the tricks to accessorizing, because I think a lot of people, mom, would be tempted just to line up their bottles. Exactly. And okay, start at the top. They're low. So bring in some height. This is where we're standing. Yeah. Get an orchid is gorgeous as well, or candlesticks, mm -hmm. or another lamp. <laughs> uh, a beautiful tray. This is a collection of a certain type of glass. Um, you don't need more than two or three beverage choices. You don't need 35 yeah. on a bar cart. <laughs> um, That's right. And of course, right. uh, monogrammed, you know, napkins. Everything. Why not? Yeah. Okay, let me show you a wonderful trick on this second shelf is for your ice. But did you know that any container you find that's made of resin does not sweat? So you can fill that with ice. You could put it on top of your grand piano if you want and fill it with ice and put champagne oh, bottles whoa. in it. It will not, that's the big worry about this is ice so buckets. Cute. Okay, mom, before we go, because we yes. just have one more minute, I do oh, want yes, you to yeah. show what your trick is with wine bottles when you get them as a gift this holiday well, season. Well, exactly. I keep a little tray with cute little tags ready to go and a gold pen. <laughs> Um, and then I have them ready to go. So when you have uh, guests come and they often, you're busy and they bring you a lovely bottle of wine, you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'll never remember who brought me this. I always say, would you just fill out a little name tag on here? I have them ready to go so that if Cute. we don't, even if we enjoy it during the party, everyone knows. Yeah. But then later on, if you don't, you can call them and go, I just opened your bottle of wine. Oh my gosh, it was such a treat you Isn't brought that. that a good, good idea. Trip. And yep. there you've got it. Oh, mama. Good stuff. So nice to see you. Yeah, hey. great job. Honey. So Susie owns Susie Reese Interior. She can help you envision your perfect home. You can find her contact info along with her expert advice from previous in-studio segments. Guess where? On the TCL regulars page of TwinCitiesLive.com. Okay, well now that you